I don't. I think yeah, we're going I into it. Yeah, we're going right into it. They already did a hand warmer. So. Elefante, I've heard that name. And wow. Lay, wow. Pretty standard. Uh, yep. You know, throw out the laser to catch Fox's jump, and then pretty simple edge guard. Yeah, whenever Fox is below attack percent, that's pretty much a guaranteed kill. Yeah, right. All right. So far, we're off to the start. Lay is looking like he's playing a uh, pretty wall-oriented Falco. Yeah. He's ran, oh. uh, he's ran Elefante to the ledge twice now and gotten gotten stuff out of it. I don't know if Elefante was trying to uh, shield drop or, or jump out of shield on that platform. Or maybe that F smash even shield poke, but yeah. nevertheless, kind of rough rough start for uh, Elefante. Yep. Actually, Lay's caught him uh, with extended Nair to interrupt his approach. Yeah. And it's comboed oh. into Shine twice. Man. And when it rains, it pours right. before uh, Elefante, man. It's well, the body, the body language there was like a little bit of disappointment, but he wasn't like shaking his head and stuff. So I think he's, he's, he's still thinking he's got a chance. Yeah, yeah. He's going to keep trying. I, I think the most important part in situations like this is to try to get some momentum. Uh, obviously, the, the climb to make this comeback is, uh, it's not always insurmountable, but it's it's rough. So you want to at least go, oh, man. Ouch. Uh, I mean, you, when you're that far behind, you do have to kind of take some risks. So. Yeah, you got to take risks, and you want to go into the next game with a little momentum, you know? Yep. Um, yeah, definitely. Another thing to note is uh, any new players out there, if you're ever behind like that, and you just think like you're being unlucky and that you're, you're the better player or whatever, it's important to play it out as long as you can because you'll get some information yeah, going into the next game. That's actually a really good point. You pick up pick up on some habits, and you use you that. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to, like, save the replay, and it's like, you're already on track, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's so BM, dude. Oh, God, he's, what's happening? Oh, they don't oh. know how to get the stages. They don't know how to get the stages. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, so Smash and Splash 2 is running all of our setups on 20XXT, the new updated version by yeah. Dan Salvato. With all the fixes and all the bug fixes, so yep. no crashing. And yeah, it's got rid of the memory overflow leaks and stuff, so yeah. it doesn't freeze anymore. Yep. But uh, in that situation where they're at, if you press Z... Uh, it'll it'll show all the stages instead of just the stages that are on random. Right. So. Yep. There it is again. There same is. thing. Yeah, he caught him. Caught him with that laser off stage. Same game. Honestly, I've been pretty impressed so far with Lay. I've never. Uh, I'm sorry. With oh, we had it backwards. Oh. Elefante was the Falco. Okay. Well, that explains why I've heard that name. Okay. He's doing so well. Yeah, yeah. I definitely had heard of Elefante before, but right. Okay. Yeah, he's, he seems to be playing pretty well. Yeah. Pretty consistent. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there cool. we go. Jab down smash. Man. Body language from Lei. Yeah. Just Star starting to get a little bit worse. Yeah. Well, and, you know, at a, a, on a big stage like this, um, I don't know how often Lei is played on a, uh, like a national level yep. stage. So yep. that could also be a factor. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, um, he gets that stock. Yeah. So a big thing about this matchup is a lot of Fox players struggle at it because uh, normally Fox likes to kind of run around right? and uh, Falco kind of just bullies people. Mm -hmm. But in this matchup, Fox is the one who has to be like going in. Yeah. So if you're not really used to having to chase down a character Ooh. with this like big hitboxes and stuff like Falco, yeah. you just can't, uh, a lot of people just run into stuff. Yeah. One way I see the way, you know, if you watch Leffen, for example, play this matchup, he's, he's never dashing away too much. He's always kind of pressing yeah. in and... Uh, yeah. And kind of pushing the pace. He definitely like you want to sit into a you want to sit in a range where Falco can't just spam lasers at you to set up his own approaches. Right. You want to make him think twice about using that jump to laser. Mm -hmm. um, you know we got some stadium uh, shenanigans. He's got shine out of shield on drill so many times. Yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. Jumps into it. It's the classic laser yeah. and a grab at the edge. Yeah. Pretty safe option, and uh, Elefante taking that pretty convincingly. Yeah. Um, oh, he's playing pretty well. Yeah, hopefully Lay can come back and, uh, you know, make a run through losers.